Hello, I'm Mary Testa. I had the great good fortune to play Anna Edson Taylor in Queen of the Mist, a piece that was written for me. Uh, it was Jack Cummings' idea. I will always be grateful to him. It was brilliantly written by Michael John Lacusa, brilliantly directed by Jack Cummings, and brilliantly orchestrated by Michael Starobin, all friends of mine. I shared the stage with D.C. Anderson, Tally Sessions, Stanley Baharek, Teresa McCarthy, Julia Murney, and Andrew Samansky. It was, quite frankly, the best theatrical experience I have ever had. The piece will always speak to me. It will always be part of my heart, and I cannot see or hear any of it without crying. Uh, I think you're gonna see the finale, which is sort of the culmination of the piece. Um, <laughs> It, uh, I, I have no words because it moves me so much and uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed doing it. I was challenged by it. I enjoyed it. It was the first time I actually played a lead. It was the first time in my career that I had the last bow. I love this piece and I love everybody involved and I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Thanks. You'll be blind at the end. And you'll not have spoken for quite some time. Not a peep. In fact, the last time anyone will hear you say a word will be in an interview when you say, I did what no other woman in the world had the nerve to do, only to die a pauper. And then one day in April, April 29th to be exact, You'll die a pauper. You'll be alone and under state care in an almshouse. You'll be buried in a pauper's grave. Eventually, people will chip in and buy a proper headstone. It's not inscribed with the dates of your birth or death. It will say, Annie Edson Taylor, first to go over the horseshoe fall in a barrel and live. What did it feel like? Sky, slate, gray, blue, clouds, migrating geese, fog, chill in the I do it for money Convince myself I do it for fame I justify myself with reasons Only the brave can name But I do it for more And what is the more? I know Will ask. 
ask. There is no beautiful, terrible one, no answer at all, no answer to give except to live. Sound. Don't let the thunder god hear you, or he might obstruct your way. Don't let the thunder god know your plan, and whatever you do, don't pray. On past the rabble who line the shores, gamblers, gawkers, and saints and whores, would she survive or would she sing? A shift to the left, dangerous, must move to the right. And now I start praying with all of my might. Great fog and thunder, both chilling wonder. Closer, quicker, nearer, Jane, I love you. Frank, I love you. I succumb to the throng. Of the thunder god's call The boom Teeters right on the edge of doom And pauses once as if to think Is this all? I feel the fall, I feel the fall Someone else is with me Someone else, but who? Not Jane, not Frank, someone. You, Tiger. You're crying. Don't be scared. Just hold on to me. I'll hold on to you. We won't be scared. Look, a light, a glow. And so I know I live. My God, the woman is alive. Indeed, I am. I glow, I see, I know that I must fall, that I 